my regular stag head skinning knife is this Buck Alpha Hunter. But today I have a special theme that how it performs, how it takes damages over or under three weeks. This is A2 Bravo 1. I have two heads here. Yesterday I got this small stack. Two days before yesterday I got this larger stack. A bit asymmetrical. This side longer a bit, but pretty tough. Looks I like it. Mmm. Blacky. No white, but wild. It's a wild deer in the bottom of the pasture, deserted land. It lived alone. I remember its sea where I got it. Anyway, let's try out the Bravo one. This drop point is not very good for this jump. Reverse bone exposing, but it did it. Yesterday I got it and uh, this tongue is fresh enough. Tongue is worth getting. We eat it in yakiniku.
a bit duller <laughs> now than before, than this first step. Substantially duller. This is a very tough job for any knives. Yeah. <laughs> now, this A2 is suffering from its darkness. I feel like <laughs> it is almost the same as 428C Alpha Hunter. Okay, this did one and a half heads. I'll show you Alpha Hunter. Alpha Hunter is mechanically nice construction. Push cut just over the edge. You know, very different. It's a push cut. Sharper. Much sharper than Brahma. It sink under the water level in the pot, reducing the height of this portion, upper joint, is important, necessary. So I always cut the upper teeth like that, water level here. This is how they sink under the water level. I hope you can see it. Underwater. Underwater. This crown portion all under the water. And the pot diameter is 40. 40 centimeters. This Alpha Hunter does two deer at the maximum. It goes down by two deer. Decently, uselessly down. And after that, it takes many rolls and some chips. I'm sure because I have made over 200, 300 stag heads, trophies, with this knife. Two pieces I have, 428C, hollow line, and slightly convex secondary edge. And uh, it did just half of the head.
and uh, still sharp, no nicks. But if it did two heads, <laughs> it would go very dull. I know that. After one and a half head, I felt as dull as I always feel with this knife. Same, same dullness it took after one and a half head. Hairy. But it still cuts paper. I don't see any edge problems to my eyes. Nothing. Maybe just edge dulling. Yes, edge dulling. Anyway, let's see through the microscope. I think A2 is a decent steel in a small angle like this one, under 30. You know, in a small angle. 3V is prone to taking no dual chip out, but it isn't just dulling. Maybe micro rolls. Anyway, let's see through the microscope and see you again. Bye bye. Berry portion. It is the cause of edge dulling. Many, many micro rolls, but no chips. I think A2 is tougher than 3V. Easy to take care with stropping. A2 is a better steel in terms of easy maintenance. In a small run, even in this small run, it does not chip. Stropping is okay take care of these rolls, you know, A2 can be a better steel than 3V, in my honest opinion. What do you think? A2 is good. 3V needs a bit larger angle, not to take no dual chip out. A2 is like this. Micro rolls, typically micro rolls. I love A2. Maybe better than 3 in conclusion. Okay, bye-bye.